good evening people hey guys i hope you guys are doing well hey you've heard the news about brahuma sekela an iconic heroic south african really african really world renowned man who brought us such beautiful jazz music um, so I wanted to tell a story about when we met Brahu, really to pay tribute to him as a human being and as a South African and as I said, a world renowned man. Um, so it was in 2010, he had a, a concert here in North Carolina. So whenever there's a South African musician or an artist, we try and be as supportive as possible. Um, so he came to North Carolina and and uh, we thought, let's go to his concert. So after the show, we decided to go and meet his crew. And uh, when we met his crew, he took a while because he was in the dressing room, I, I guess, like dressing up after he finished the show and really just taking a break. So we met his crew and we had a wonderful time uh, with his crew. And he finally came out um, uh, at the back of the bus. Fortunately, he was staying not too far. This was like really late at night. He was staying not too far from the theater where he was performing. So, um, so we met him and uh, he, he was such the most humble person. I shouldn't say the most, but he was very humble. Very, like he felt like someone I've known like for a long time uh because i've known him through his music even though he was a little bit older than us we grew up knowing who he was and uh listening to his music and so um very very humble he was so excited to meet us because we could speak you know like the same language uh, I, mean, I mean he speaks many many languages I'm not claiming him or anything but he could speak Zulu he, he could speak Kosa so uh, he was just happy that you know like he could uh, use his uh, at least language and um he invited us back to the hotel where he was staying uh we were with you know like our spouses i think one of our friends was with us as well and so we all decided to go back to his hotel and he wanted to really uh, for us to stay longer maybe go to a restaurant and you know like eat or do whatever just hang out basically but guess what we live in a farm in north carolina i'm using the word farm it's a city but these are small towns and so um a lot of places will close especially during the week so when we got back to the hotel he um he uh, they were closed so we really didn't get even a chance to have a drink but we actually sat at the lobby and just talked about who we were where we come from and blah 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 and uh he was like really really a humble person um obviously a lot of people there's a lot of stuff out there about brahu what he was able to do for south africa uh, uh really his dedication to and uh, to the struggle of the people of south africa and uh so there's a lot of stuff out there about him he wasn't just a musician he was a conscious musician but, um but we really really had an awesome time with him uh he, it showed what uh, he felt like an uncle to me and he was cracking up all the jokes he's very very funny um we had a wonderful time and i i really wanted to say rest in peace uh brahuma segela uh it was an honor to meet you it was an honor to listen to your music and it's an honor to know that you come from the same land that I come from. And I'm so, so happy that I got to meet you and I, may you rest in peace. You in Kosa we say that means that you have completed your journey uh, you have uh, completed your journey and you've passed with flying colors basically so I'm so honored to have met him and I want to thank you all so much for tuning in to this um, tribute thank you so much mm -hmm.